Hi, welcome to the Zilla Query Language Training Course. Today in this video, I would like to show you how to get all of the tickets created some months ago in Zilla system. Basically, if you are project manager and you want to get all of the tickets your team working on since last month until now. In this video, I will guide you how to use the JQL language to write a script to export all of the data from Zira system to Excel file for you. Okay, so now let's get started. Open browser and then you open your Zira system. Assuming this is the Zira project you are working on. You take a look into some of the ticket here in the list of the issue. We have some ticket created in the October, August, and July of the 2021. By default for now, it is listing all of the tickets in the Zira system. So now I will write some of the query here to filter the data for each month. Okay. In this video, I will use the start of month and end of month function of Zira system to support you. For a better understand the start of month and end of month function, so we can open the Zira node. Let me open this one for you. And you see here, we have start of month function. The syntax it is very easy to remember, start of month with the no value and the other option is with value. It will be support for some fields in credit new result update and other custom field with the tie date and time. It support for some operator here and some other operator it does not support here. Take a look into the example. You see, if you want to find some issues created since the start of this month, you can use this one. Find a new issue created since the start of the last month, this one and find the new issues created since the 15 of this month. This one. Okay, so the same thing for end of month. End of month. Here. Okay, for this one, it looks like the same with start of month. Yeah, syntax, support fields, support operator or unsupport operator and also some example here yeah. okay and then i went back to the zero system you see here i will try to edit some of the query here the current query is filter all of the tickets in the system so i will go ahead to edit this one click on the text box and then I will filter the data here based on the created field. I will end created. It should be greater than start of month. This one. With this query, I will filter all of the ticket created since the first day of this month. Now it is November 20. 21. If we have any issue created in the November, so it will display in the lead here. Let me click on start button. Yeah. We have no issue were found because in November we don't create any issue. Yeah. Let me update the query. I want to find the ticket created since last month until now. So I will enter the hyphen one. So yeah, you can see we have two ticket, get two and get three. Okay, hyphen two. So no, hyphen three. So here with the hyphen three, that mean I will filter all of the ticket. Created from the August, September, October, and now it is the November. Okay. So you see here in the third result, we have some tickets in the August and also in October. 
in case I want to limit and only to get the ticket in August, that means you have to update the query. I will use the end created. It would be the let than end of month hyphen three. So yeah, you see here, I can get all of the ticket in August only. Yeah, the same thing. If I get the ticket from the July, it should be the hyphen four. Yeah. We can get the ticket from the July and August. Yeah. So here, if I change this one to hyphen four, I only get the ticket in July 2021. Okay. So in this video today, you know how to write the script to get all of the tickets in the past created for the team. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.